July 8th. Um, the previous practice that Victoria had her concentration was was uh, affecting the way that she was hitting the ball. Um, she was uh, a lot of the flick came back. So today we emphasize a tremendous amount on concentration, on uh, maintaining a consistent level of concentration in order to produce good quality strokes. The concentration of maintaining the good footwork, concentration of knowing where her hands are, and, uh, knowing when the re that the resets. Uh, that the beginning of the reset, which is the end of the follow-through of, of, of her stroke, the level of concentration cannot drop down, it stays up high, right? And so she was doing that really well. Uh, uh, emphasize on the forehand side to concentrate on position two, to keep the tip up of the, to keep the racket, the tip up of the racket, but not tight, keep it loose, she, she eventually understood that. Um, there was a nice fluid motion to her stroke on the forehand side. She, she didn't have flick. Not one time today did I have to make the correction of straight arm across the body. So that was surprising to me. On the backhand side, um, like I thought, dropping the tip a little bit too fast was causing this 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 flick uh, on that side. Um, what we focus on is show me ready position, right? And so we, we focus on, and Victoria, uh, she realized this on her own. She made a good observation, and she put it together in a little, a little thing that she can remember that the... Um, this bend forward like that causes the arms to hang down on her body, which she could feel uh, in the stroke as making more, making it more fluid. So she understands it. So and she was doing this really good um, to making sure that she started out that way, um, keeping the tip on the back, tip up on the backhand side. Um, I don't really, we didn't have to emphasize too much on that, uh, but her stroke was really, really fluid uh, and uh, very consistent. She was hitting lots of balls in. Um, both sides, uh, more so on the back end, was a more consistent, but the forehand was much, much better consistency than the last, last practice. Um, forward uh, stances were, uh, were were about 70% as wide as I wanted them today, uh, for the, ma the majority of the time. She started off in narrow stances. Uh, she has blisters on her feet, so she slowed down a little bit because of, of that, but she, 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 she muscled through it. She didn't, didn't let it bother her uh, too much. Um, I think that if we can start off next practice the same way where we left off today where there's fluidity in the backhand where position two is nice and smooth there is no flick anymore then we can make sure she's rotating from her hips and go ahead and try to uh, work on her to accelerate so that we can start to uh, create grip and uh, we'll have to figure out how to do it on the backhand side I'm not sure if fish is going to work on the backhand side uh, may not need to do anything on the backhand side for now just let it groove the way it's going okay anything else all right so we'll see you next time